learn how to enable Azure SQL Managed Instance in Azure Arc in this episode of Azure Tips and Tricks. In this third of three videos, we'll create an Arc enabled SQL Managed Instance. To follow along, you'll need an Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster that we created in the previous videos. We need to create a data controller in Azure Arc. Before we can do that, we need to create a service principle here using the Azure Cloud Shell. Let's see. There it is. We'll need this information to let the data controller send metrics to Azure Monitor. Okay, now to assign a role to the service principle. And that's it. Okay, let's go to Azure Arc. Here we are. Let's see the Arc enabled Kubernetes clusters. Here it is. Okay. This runs on my local machine. Cool. And we'll add an extension to it. I already have these added from the previous videos. And now add another one. And we'll use the Azure Data Controller. This enables Azure Arc Data Services. Okay, here we go. First, I need to give the Data Controller a name, like this. All right. Next, I create a new custom location. We use this to deploy the SQL Managed Instance to. And I'll pick a Kubernetes template that represents my cluster the best. OK. And now I need to fill in a login name for the controller. And also a password. I need this to log into the data controller from applications like Azure Data Studio. All right. And finally, I need to fill these in with the data from the service principle that we created earlier. This enables the controller to send metrics to Azure Monitor. Here we go. Next. For this one, I'll disable Log Analytics Upload. And OK, next. This looks fine. Next. And that's it. Let's create it. I'll skip to when it is done. Here is the data controller in Azure Arc. Cool. And let's see. This is the custom location that we just created with the data controller. OK. Now let's go down here and to SQL Managed Instances. Let's create a new one. First, I need to select a resource group. This is the same one that contains the Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. And now I'll give the instance a name like this. All right. And pick the custom location. That's it. Next, I select Load Balancer for the service type. I'll leave the compute as it is. And here, I fill in a login for the instance credentials and also a password. I need these credentials to log into the SQL instance. OK, review and create, and I'll create it and skip ahead. There it is. Here is the Arc enabled SQL managed instance. It looks just like any other SQL managed instance. The difference is that it runs on an Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster that runs on my local machine. Very cool. Azure Arc enables you to run managed Azure services anywhere, including data services like Azure SQL Managed Instance on an Arc-enabled Kubernetes cluster. Go and check it out.